Hi, uh, this is Harold Lanier again, Lanier Bee Barn, and this is going to be part three of our little swarm episode today. So the bees have now coalesced up in a cloud, uh, a big group up in the tree up there, and we're going to capture it, so you're going to get to see us uh, do that. And uh, my buddy Howard here, I'm going to let him light the smoker, and we're going to always have the smoker ready. If we don't need it, that's fine, but just in case we do, we want to have it ready to go. So we're going to start with just a small amount of, of uh, pine straw in there and take our torch, light it, and get it going. Until you hear it, yes, you got to hear it a little longer. A little more. There you go. So it's a good thing to always have your tools ready, the things that you think you're going to need uh, as best you can plan. One of the things that we're definitely going to probably need is our brush. Last time we didn't use the brush in the hive inspection, we didn't need to, but in this case we may find ourselves needing to use the brush. Hive tool to move frames around a little bit and then go ahead and give a, get a good bunch in there and uh, pack it in there good. The smoker is going to be needed probably just to coax more to coax the bees into where we want them to go. So we're going to get to make sure the smoker is good. That ought to do it. Puff it up, keep it pumping. Pump it real hard. Good. Yeah, keep going. Don't stop. All right, go ahead and close it up. Close it up, and I'm going to let you just kind of hold that and just keep it going because it's not really running real good yet. All right. So, as I mentioned before, when you get your your uh, material out, go ahead and put it back in and lock the lid. All right. So let's take a look. Scan up there, and we'll see where the swarm is located. So that's the swarm we're going to catch. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is put our protective gear on. Which in this case for me is also going to include gloves. Um, as before you remember, uh, most times I don't use gloves when I inspect. But in this case, we're definitely going to use gloves because we're working above our heads and when we get up there, you'll see in a minute that a whole bunch of bees are going to come down on me and my sleeves are pretty uh, pretty open. So we're going to put some gloves on. So we got my tools handy, and let's take a look at what we're going to do here. In judging um, the size of the cluster that we have up here, uh, we could have put it in a five frame box, but it looks a little bit larger than that, so I'm going to put it in an eight frame box. Now, what I've done is take some of the frames out, spaced it out, because we're just going to dump a big pile of bees in, and I want them to be able to go down into the bottom. I also put some queen excluder material on there because um, sometimes the bees just decide they don't want to stay there and if the queen can leave then the swarm can leave again but if the queen can't get out they'll all still stay there and eventually they'll work the comb and decide okay this is good enough and they'll stay. So then the next thing that we need <coughs> in this case is uh, my catch pole. So basically, it's just a five gallon bucket on a big painter's pole, and I can um, make this bigger or smaller to suit ever how tall it is. So in this case, this one's not very high up. So what we're going to try to do is to get up under there, we're going to bump it real hard. 
hard, the bees will fall into the bucket, and then I'm just going to dump them right into the to the hive right there. So at this point, that's our plan. All right. Alright, so what I want to do now, <clears throat> you can only get as much as you can, and there's going to be more bees go back to that same spot. Uh, so I'll give it a little time, they'll coalesce back up, I'll catch them again, I'll dump them in. Hopefully, we have the queen. And one way that we can tell, usually, if you'll look at these girls right here and see how she has her butt up in the air. She's emitting a pheromone from what's called a nasonoff gland, and then she's fanning it. So see all these girls fanning? Look at them all through there. This is a very, very good sign that our queen is here. A very good sign. And you see all the girls on the back back there? Look at that. So that's a very good sign that our queen is in here. Um, we could obviously go searching for her, but that might just make her decide she wants to fly away. So we're just going to leave her for now uh, for a few minutes. Now at this point, I can probably go ahead and put these frames in there. One thing you do not want to do is forget to put the extra frames in. If you do, they're going to build comb all down in there and make a big mess. So you don't want to leave this uh, this gap like that. I have drawn comb already in here, several combs like this one, and they can use that to build uh, their hive out much quicker than just empty foundation. So I have a little bit of both. If you don't have drawn comb, don't worry, because you can always use just a regular foundation. Okay, let's still let's watch them just a little bit. Yeah, so we still see some good signs, right? So this girl here, this one, this one. These are good signs. Alright, let's look up at the tree and see what's going on up there. So we have a few more gathering up there. Let's go ahead and moving towards the um, towards the hive. You see all of these in the front, they're circling and going towards the hive. That's a good sign. And again, if we look closely, we see a lot of them with their nasal glands in the air. See that? 
everywhere. Man, all of them. Isn't that beautiful? When you see that, you can almost be sure that you have the queen. That's the key. Yep. Sometimes when you bump them like that, uh, especially if it's on a large limb, then you can't jar the limb enough to, to pull down most of the bees. And if the queen's on there real tight, you don't wind up getting the queen. So um, on the flimsy limb like that, it was like perfect. So very easy. They're not all this easy to capture, but today we were, we were in good stead. So I still see a few more up there. I'm going to bump it one more time. <coughs> I'm going to put this inner cover on just to give them a feeling of, of being in a, in a cavity. Uh, Western honeybees are cavity dwellers, so they, need, they want a place inside out of the weather. So by doing that, give me a couple things. They can still emit the nasonal pheromone and then also um, kind of get the feeling that they're in a in a cavity like they were, were searching for. Alright, we got just a few more up there. Alright, we got a lot of bees wanting to kind of work their way up to the top. I don't really want that to happen. So we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, close this up and put the lid on it. I'm just going to sweep them off of here, just like that. And then we're going to put the top on. Brush, brush those over the, up to the top. There you go. All right. I feel pretty good that we have the queen now. So I'm not worried about finding that. But I think we have some more that have coalesced up there. I'm just going to take them and dump them in front of the hive. Sooner or later they'll take the hat and they'll smell these other things here. can and we're hoping that we have the queen inside so if we've got her inside she won't be able to get out and they won't be able to leave so at this point we're just going to leave this as is I'll come back and check this in a couple more hours uh, I expect we've got the queen I looked at those um, all the nasing off that you saw on top it was a very very good sign that we've got her in there but we'll never know until you know a day or so if she's not in there, what's going to happen is all those workers are going to come out and just leave and go somewhere else. So, but I feel pretty good about it. We'll come back and check it. The ones that are still up here, they will eventually find their way down to here. When I capture a swarm, I like to have the box somewhat close by uh, so that they can smell where their mates went and uh, find their way. But right now, very few still up in the tree. I think most of them are down here, so I think we're good. All right, I'm sure there'll be more swarm captures in the future, but that's it for today. Thanks for watching.